Hey y'all, this is Don, aka the Interactive Nanny, coming to you guys once again live and in living color from Interactive Nanny's World, where what? Love and play are interacting. So this evening, we're not going to do a story. This afternoon, we're not doing a story, guys. I actually wrote out sort of a, um, a like a discussion type situation for us to sort of ponder over. I wanted to sort of start leaning back towards into some different topics pertaining to our littles and, and besides littles we'll be going into other topics as far as you know dealing with pain you know topics dealing with parents or you know illness issues and um trip taking or whatever the case may be games um you name it Show, i mean even shows tv shows or something um uh, but um, our topic today, I know it's been a while, I know, but I'm sort of trying to sort of try to get myself back in gear. So our topic today will be talking about summer fun for little ones. Even though school is now back in session for most of our children, it's still summer and it, and it is very hot. Um, so I thought I would take the time to explore some fun summer activities for the littles of all ages. So let's get going and see what we can come up with. For our toddlers, how about a small water balloon, a game, a small water balloon game? Nothing serious, just feel the balloons. If they're different colors, help them identify the colors. Um, you can even feel some of them different as far as different. Some of them I feel more than others. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and you know sort of help them see which balloons are softer which ones are firmer which ones have more water less water you, you know that type of stuff um let them explore the textures they can roll them too if you know all of them are filled the same, to the same capacity you can let them roll them if they're older toddlers they might like to you know let them pop them let the you know especially if it's hot and you're outside get the balloons and pop them um or maybe even have a camp have camp outside at night in your own backyard. That would be cool. You wouldn't have to leave your house. You wouldn't have to go to a campsite and do all that driving and so on and so forth. Have your camp out right outside in your own backyard. Going to a campsite is nice, but you can have just as much or even more fun, much more fun at home camp in, with a little camping trip in your own yard. So why not give it a try? For our toddlers, for our older toddlers, we could do some shower curtain painting. You just grab your clear shower, the shower curtain lining, or a clear curtain if you just found a clear curtain. Get you some paints, paint brushes, or the little dot markers, or you know different the different kinds of paints or whatnot, and just let them go give them you know give them what they need let them go then your yard if they're water soluble paints after they're done spray the um line off your sidewalk or whatever and you good if you don't mind the painting your grass on your on your driveway that's fine too it'll be your child's the beginning to your child's art exploration And after they're done, the clean that would like I just said, the cleanup will be a cinch. Another cool idea would be tongs and water play. This is simple. Get two buckets or two big bowls, um, different toddler safe objects, and tongs. Place water in the bowl. You can add up some objects that are toddler safe. If you want to even make it even more fun food coloring put you some food coloring diff a different color in each bowl and then um give them the tongs and let them transfer the objects from one bowl to another or if you want to just put water in one of the bowls let them transfer the objects from the bowl with the water to the empty the dry bowl and then you know just back and forth and see what what you got and we can't forget about our older littles so how about a diy outdoor movie night complete with concession stands and popcorn 
all you need is our projector, white, a large white sheet with strong string or some kind of cording that you can tie and then hang the um, sheet up, string lights, comfy pillows, and or bean bag chairs, popcorn juice, sodas, some candy, whatever, whatever other snacks you like, get you an array of movies that you and the littles like, especially if you're having like a um, slumber party or something for them, there you go, you, you good, it's a, that's a win. Or maybe something simple, but out of the box for children of today's world. How about playing some of the classic outdoor games from your childhood as far as adults? Show them how to play the games we used to play when we were little. Red light, green light, hide and see, Simon said, jump rope, hopscotch, uh, red rover. You know, games like that. There's nothing like being outside and getting active, family fun, while we jump and run. That's what I'm talking about. These were just a few activities, there, but there are so many more. A little research and planning goes a long, long way. So while it's still warm and sunny, make these memories because the little ones grow up so fast. So this is the um, episode for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm... Sort of, like I said, I'm getting back into it, so I'm more than likely maybe next week I'll try out another topic and we'll see how it goes. But until next week, this is Don, aka the Interactive Nanny, signing off from Interactive Nanny's World, where love and play are interacting. Hope you guys have a fun, safe, have had a fun, safe, enjoyable weekend. We still got a few more hours on Sunday before we all have to get out and go to school and work. But until next week, be safe, have fun, enjoy your week. This week, most of the children week week two for school so i'll be hollering at you guys next week have fun bye bye